I'm Sherry and you're watching Wislau TV. As you can see, our setting is just a little bit different today. We are no longer in the office in San Diego. We are in Park City on Historic Main Street and I'm in Utah because my little brother got married and I'm here to see the wedding. And I also thought I'd use this as a good opportunity to test the service in this really popular tourist destination. So I'll be testing the service and data speeds of Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, and AT&T and seeing how they compare. And I'll be doing this on our unlocked Pixel 3 XL. To run the speed tests, I'm using Google's speed test. To use this on Google, just type in and search speed test and it will populate right in your browser. First up, I am testing data speeds and service of Sprint. Sprint data speeds turned out how I expected. Pretty slow with three megabit per second download speeds and 10 megabit per second upload speeds, which Google and myself categorize as slow internet. For reference, three megabits per second will let you stream smoothly if you're watching in standard definition. You need at least five megabits per second to stream in high definition. Next, I am testing AT&T. AT&T has the most coverage in the state of Utah, so it's no surprise they also have some of the fastest data speeds as well with 32 megabit per second download speeds and 10 megabit per second upload speeds. For reference, it's recommended to have at least 25 megabits per second to watch 4K videos. AT&T gives you more than enough speed to do that in Park City, Utah. Third, I'm testing T-Mobile who had 16 megabit per second download speeds and 9.8 megabit per second upload speeds. Now that isn't crazy fast, but it's still a decent speed and would be able to handle uploading photos to your Instagram story, making video calls, and scrolling social media. All the important things, you know? Lastly, I'm testing Verizon. Verizon had an average of 33 megabit per second upload speeds and 13 megabit per second download, which just barely beats out AT&T, who has the most coverage in the state. As a quick recap, these speed tests showed me Verizon was the fastest and Sprint was the slowest, which was slightly unexpected considering AT&T has the most coverage in the state. However, AT&T still performed well. Now, if we're talking about Utah as a whole, if you have T-Mobile, AT&T, or Verizon, you're pretty well covered across the whole state. But if you have Sprint, your coverage is not as widespread as the others. However, you can roam onto another network and still get service if your carrier's service fails. The major carriers have deals with each other to make sure all customers will have service across the country. But if you're roaming, your service and data won't be as good. So keep that in mind if you're deciding between carriers in the Beehive State. Okay, that's it for the video today. Hopefully this helped you. Hopefully if you're coming to Park City, you know what to expect or you know what cell phone service to get while you're here. Thanks for watching. I'm Sherry Riggs. This is What's Out TV. Thanks for watching this video. And if you've made it this far, please subscribe. Also, we are going to CES in Las Vegas. So if you want to get caught up on all the consumer electronics coming out in 2020 and want to know the future of everything electronics, be sure to follow us and join us along while we're at CES for the entire week. I'm Sherry Riggs. Don't forget to subscribe.